Well, this is... awfully familiar. I really need to explain myself better this time. Hey guys, it's Shadow, and once more, I have a lot to discuss as to why I've disappeared... again. This is gonna be a longer one than usual, so let's just begin. Where have you been? My absence this time has been twofold. The bigger of the two reasons, if you've been following me on Twitter, is that some weeks ago, I went in for oral surgery. I literally had all four of my wisdom teeth pulled, with one of them having the added bonus of being impacted. Fun times! As of a few days ago, I fully recovered, but the process did leave me out of commission for a few days. And now the second reason, and most obvious, I sunk all of my time from mid-September all through October to completing my animation of Monsters. Which, thank you to everyone who came to the premiere and enjoyed the video in general. Turkish and I have really put a lot of heart into it, and we're so happy you all loved it. Now, subsequently, just to explain why I was so eager to get it cracking on this video ahead of time, I had actually left for Florida around the end of last month to see some family, so it was kind of a race against the clock to try and get the last bits of the video done before I departed. I do still have to apologize for once again not being very vocal about my whereabouts, as usual. To be completely honest with you all, on top of the oral surgery and Halloween plans, this year in general and the current state of the world has severely screwed with my mental state, and I've been dealing with uh, quite a multitude of dark thoughts. I won't go into detail since I really don't want to worry anybody, and it's not my place to speak. All that matters, I'm still kicking, and I'm still hard at work to bring more content to you guys. It's just still been very slow given all that's been going on. But enough of that right now, let's actually discuss the future of my content going forward now. There's quite a lot to unload this time, so let's just get right to it. Next round's on me. So now that Halloween is said and done, let's talk about the status of all my other video projects. Firstly, the script for episode 2 of Untold Darkness has been completed, and Turk and I are already working on episode 3 script. We have a lot in store for the future of this story, and the Shadowverse in general, but it's going to be a while. So whilst the series continues production, I'm going to shift focus to other projects for the time being, and I'll be starting by resuming work on... Oh boy. The Elements of Insanity series. Yeah! Yes, yes, all of the people that have been constantly begging and demanding me to continue the series, you've got your wish now. However, I will be doing this on my time and my own limits. All of you have to remember, I'm literally only one person animating all of this. Animation takes time, and the constant stream of begging and or demanding, as I said, that I do one thing like I'm a machine that can drop videos whenever I want, it really does not help my motivation for working on the series at all. So please just understand, I am doing all that I can as one person. Now, that being said, the next EOI video is roughly halfway finished now, so I'll be looking to get onto it after my current priority, which is a little something I've been reanimating for Thanamelon. As for everything else, Chapter 3 of Paper and Ink will most certainly be my next priority. But before that, I'll be doing an interlude for the series with Melantha, featuring help from the lovely Katie Patterson. I've also been working on a sillier, smaller sort of thing with both Wubkick and I Am Shadow 007. I'll give you all one hint about what it's going to be. Well, Sunset, I made it, despite your directions. Ah, Principal Celestia, welcome. I hope you're prepared for an unforgettable luncheon. Yeah. And lastly, I've also got a collaboration in the works with both DeWilsonator and Jasper Pie. It'll take a while, but I really think you guys are going to get a kick out of what we've got in store. So that's my current priorities, but what of the future of my channel? Double Shadow Productions, my other bigger projects, the Splatoon stuff? Well, about that last part. The future's not ours to see. Okay, so this is a topic I have desperately tried not to discuss, mainly because of how much drama has surrounded it all. But with how much a lot of my work features it now, I feel now is the time I need to properly explain what's happening with the Splatoon side of my animations. Obviously, I still intend on doing my own stories of that series, but a lot of things that I've had planned for so long have now needed to be altered due to many recent events that have made me extremely uncomfortable. So, let's start from the beginning. For those that saw my video first teasing the 300k subscriber milestone, you might remember I had talked about my Splatoon content there as well. 
specifically how it was going to take a bit longer to get out due to, quote, recent drama in the Splatoon Gmod SFM community. And while I didn't give names, I also mentioned that I had severed ties with several members of that community. The people in question were, in no particular order, Ghost of Time 1, The Canadian Spartan, Lizzie Ratical, aka Claude's, Jeff Cray 64, and Ellie Gadelia. I really don't want to dwell on these people, as what they've done STILL sickens me. So to keep it short, to those unaware of what's happened, these five were discovered to have been running a Discord server aptly named The Loot House, where they performed erotic role plays and shared loot images with minors. One of the victims being a FRIEND OF MINE by the name of Genesis, who was also a very talented animator. Please go subscribe to him, please. Safe to say, I was not keen on keeping up contact with people that turned out to literally be grooming and diddling kids, so I promptly cut them off. I had already made the very stupid mistake of giving Ellie a second chance. I wasn't going to have a repeat performance this time. So now you're likely asking, what does this mean for my Splatoon-related videos? Simply put, a lot of it is being heavily reworked now. But in the case of one particular video that I had planned, Shadow's Inked Up Adventure, where Shadow and Trixie end up in Ignopolis and must find a way back home, it's being straight up cancelled. Why? Not only was Claude's formally involved with it, but also Gal Guy King the Great, who also was recently outed as screwing about with a minor. Naturally, I'm not too comfortable working on a video that has predators involved with it, so I've made the choice to cancel it. Again, I really don't like to do that for any of my videos, but in this case, it's probably for the better. Well, actually, it is for the better, what am I saying? The other video I've been working on, and the subsequent story that it will start, will still continue, but I am currently needing to restructure my plans for it all. So it'll still be a quite a long while before it all sees the light of day. There is one thing I'm currently working on that will be coming out in shorter time, though. I'm looking to animate the Iris song, Mothohide. What will the subject be for that one? Well... <laughs> Now that's as much as I'd like to talk about the Splatoon stuff. Let's talk about more of my future content. Specifically, let's talk about four projects of mine that I have not really given proper updates on. Child of Shadow, Lyrish Epilogue, Vinyl's Big Encore, and Fluttershy's Mansion 2. I have teased all four of these for some time at this point, but I've never really gone into full detail where, where they currently are production-wise. Let's start with the obvious. I have all the audio that I need for Lyrish Epilogue, and I'm fully prepared to start animating. But however, I am still in need of a proper map for several scenes in this video. To be specific, I need a map of a candy shop. Hence why I've stated before that I might need the help of someone who can do custom maps in Gmod, or Source Filmmaker. If anybody watching this video knows anyone like that, or can put me in contact with someone capable of doing that, I would greatly appreciate it. Otherwise, as for the other three, Vinyl's Big Encore is still in the script writing phase. I have a lot that I want to do with this video, compared to Vinyl's Big Night, and I really hope that this time I'll be able to get it all in and do it right. But it will still likely be a while before the script is finished, so please continue being patient, as I know that most of you all are. As for Fluttershy's Mansion 2, um, it's also still in the script writing phase, but compared to Vinyl's Big Encore, I'm still trying to find a, a story for it that I'm content with. Most that I can spoil right now, Fluttershy will be dealing with an all new mansion and all new monsters thrown at her by the spirits of the last mansion's owner. I'm still trying to formulate a sequence of events for this thing that I am content with, so it's probably also going to be a good while before you all see this video in full. But I assure you all, it's going to be very frightening. And lastly, Child of Shadow. Of all the many projects I have, I truly feel this one has been badly neglected. Now, what is Child of Shadow, you ask? It's a story that myself and my soul sister, I'm Shadow007, have been working on for quite some time. Introducing a brand new character of ours, Lynn Hecate. 
This story is basically our baby for this point, for lack of a better phrase. But as expected, it's been taking more than a while to work on, given both of our respective workloads. Shay and I have been debating a proper format for distributing Child of Shadow. The one we've been hanging on is actually making the story an audio drama with static imagery, in much the same manner as someone like Scribble Productions or The Lost Narrator. And would you guys still watch the series if we did it like that? Let us know in the comments below. We hope you guys will really enjoy the first episode of the series once it's finally out. And that's about all that I really have to say for this update. I'm really sorry again that everything has practically grinded to a halt with what's been happening. But as I always say, I am still working on stuff. It's just going incredibly slowly with how drained everything has left me. So in the meantime, I'll likely be resuming streaming somewhat regularly over on my Twitch channel, so be sure to follow me there to watch me and my friends act like doofs live. But for now, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Peace!